Hello and welcome. My name is Paul Brett. I am a senior software support analyst for the Transformation Extender product from IBM. Today's video is a demonstration of using the ITX10 design server installation on Linux to compile and execute a map. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter at Paul Brett IBM. OK, here we are in our uh, PuTTY terminal where I've connected to my uh, CentOS Linux image which has Docker installed. OK, as you can see I've run the installation process already and images have been created. If I do Docker PS you'll see that none of them are currently running. Uh, you can see that I have had them running in the past, the four images being TX Server Redis, TX Server Mongo, TX Server and TX Client. Okay, when the TX Server uh, image was created, uh, part of the script that installs it um, ensures that the host uh, file system is exported into that image. Uh, the part that is exported is opt slash TX files, or at least the part we're interested in. As you can see, I have created a maps subdirectory in addition to the two subdirectories that are all automatically created. And in the maps subdirectory, you will find a map source file and a type tree source file. OK, so time to start the Docker images. So let's do that now. Docker start tx server redis. Then TX server Mongo. Next comes TX server itself. And finally TX client. Now this needs another two minutes to start up. Just to show that the design server is up, here we have a uh, web page which we shall log on to the system, and there is the log on uh, log on uh, page for the design server. We're not going to be using the design server today, so let's just move it out of the way. What we are going to do is uh, execute a shell script inside the Docker and use the m compile utility to compile our map today. So the first thing we need to do is a docker um, ps, just to show the four images are up and running. Docker exec interactive tx-server slash bin slash bash. OK, I have a command line inside the docker image of tx server. If I go to the forward slash opt forward slash ibm forward slash wsdtx directory, You'll see that the product is installed, and I can run the setup script as I normally would for a TX install. If we go to forward slash opt forward slash TX files, and then into the maps subdirectory, I can now run the m compile script. Spell it right, m compile. Give it my map source file dash a to compile all all maps dash p to compile for the Linux platform. And there we go. mcompile says successful. Uh, it has successfully compiled test1.mmc. And just to show that that is a perfectly working map that can now be executed, I'm now going to run it using command server. The map has completed successfully. You will note that the trace file has been produced, 
the log file has been produced and also the um, output file has been produced which contains my input string which I echoed in and it's been capitalized hello in capitals there on the left okay so that's how you uh, use Linux only to compile a map using ITX 10 design server I appreciate you taking the time to view my video today. I trust you found the content informative and enjoyable, and would ask that you click the like button. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to be informed of new content when it is published. Thank you and have a great day.